everyone, what's up? Welcome back to the second episode of the Colgate Optic White Smile Show. I am so excited for today's video. I filmed five different outfit ideas for a summer wedding because I know that this season is just booming with weddings. I personally have four to go to before the end of June, including one this weekend in Ohio. So I'm really excited about that, but sometimes it can be a little bit stressful figuring out what to wear, especially if the invitation has wording on it like beach casual or black tie. So I wanted to put together five different outfits to kind of give you guys some inspiration depending on what the dress code is for the weddings that you guys will be attending. So I really hope you guys enjoy this video and I have a hair tutorial on this hair and a makeup tutorial that I will put in the links in the bottom bar below if you guys want to see that. So without further ado, let's get started. First things first, you need to get those pearly whites well, white. Your smile is your best accessory, so brush your teeth using the Colgate Optic White Express White Toothpaste using the Optic White Toothbrush Plus Whitening Pen. Once you finish brushing, just twist the pin to dispense product and apply it onto your teeth. This will make your smile extra brilliant, and also don't forget to pack this if you are traveling for a wedding. You will be so happy you did with all of the photos being taken. Black tie is the most formal of all weddings I've ever been invited to. Men are expected to wear full tuxedos and women should be in formal gowns. Sometimes this is even stated that it is a black and white wedding, which you should only wear those colors, but remember, only wear white if the bride specifically asks you to. White tie is even more formal than black tie and it has a very specific dress code that you guys can look up. There is a certain tux that men must wear and women need to be in full ball gowns, but I have never been invited to one of those and none of my friends have either, so they're pretty uncommon. Country Chic is wording I recently received on an invitation and I immediately asked some of my friends about it and a lot of them said that they have gotten the same, especially with rustic weddings being so popular right now. No, this does not mean you wear Daisy Dukes and cowboy boots. Go for a simple summer sundress. For shoes, dressy flats are totally acceptable, especially if the wedding will be on grass, but wedges will dress it up just a little bit and are still very comfortable. Men should wear summer suits or slacks with a button-up shirt and no tie. And this dress would also be perfect for a wedding that calls for garden party attire. Semi-black tie or semi-formal typically refers to the men wearing a suit and tie but not a tux and the women wearing a cocktail dress. I think it's okay to show some leg if the dress is pretty conservative up top, but if you have a plunging neckline then I would go for a longer hem. A traditional wedding is definitely one of the most common and women typically wear a simple dress and heels, nothing too over the top and fancy, but not jeans and a t-shirt. You can also do some nice slacks or pants with a blouse for this if you'd like. Men should probably wear a suit with no tie, but of course you know the happy couple best and you can probably guess what they think is going to be appropriate or not. The last look is beach casual, which is especially common here in California. A flowy maxi dress, simple sundress, or even a bright romper are all great choices. Again, if your dress or romper is short, try to keep it a little bit more conservative up top. And I paired mine with a bright necklace to really make the outfit pop. And since the wedding will probably be on sand, it's totally okay to wear some dressy sandals. All right guys, that's it. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you are subscribed to this channel so you don't miss any of my new upcoming videos and I will see you guys next time. Bye.